Hello and welcome to One Cup Champ. My name is Gary and welcome to the last ever episode of Buck CC. We have taken this team all the way to the year of 2036. And in this career save, it's been amazing. We've taken them from level 10 to the Prem. We wasn't able to win the Premier League, but we find ourselves in the Champions League final, which is incredible. We're against Barcelona and we're going to play this one and then it's over. Now, this is still being played on FM 21. So we've had a long career. So I'm going to go through my career as it looks right now. Here is my profile. There I am. I am 54 years of age in the game and uh, low, low wages just to make sure we had enough money in the key. So let's go through into the career stats. This career save has been 5,808 days with the same club. I have made two and a half million, which again, low earnings. I've won 27 awards. I've bought 292 players at a value of 260 million. We have sold players, 157 players, at a value of 200 million. Our biggest fee spent was on Big Papa for 61 and highest fee received was for Espendola for 40 million. We have played 803 games getting Buck CC from level 10 to the Prem and we won 504 of them. We have seen 1,899 goals scored for us and allowed 971. And that is a win percentage of 62% over our entire career. If we go into our job history, here we go. Starting in the year 2020, 2021, we were in the Hellenic Football League, Division One East. And we won, obviously, came first, pretty much got promoted every year into the Premier League, into the Isthmus League, the Southern Premier League, National League North, South, National League North, the National League, then Sky Bet League Two, Sky Bet League One. We were then in the Championship for three seasons before getting into the Premier League, where in our second season, we won both the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. So we did a bit of a cup double. And now, as you can see here, we finished eighth, third, second and fourth. And now we are in the Champions League final. If we go into club history, we've got a beautiful Buxy C Stadium, 20, nearly 27,000 all-seater, state-of-the-art training facilities, state-of-the-art youth facilities. Uh, we are worth 2 billion. 2 billion. That is crazy. You've got to love this graph right here, just going all the way up from level 10 up towards the Prem. Right now, um, Let's just get into it. I mean, you can see Niall Ennis is the only icon. Here he is, Niall Ennis, having scored 77 goals in 140 games. I'm not sure Niall Ennis knows his importance to Buck TC, but he is an icon of the club. I am a legend in this game, um, obviously having been the only manager in the club's history. And we have three favoured personnel, and that is Arta Baumgraber, Again, this guy came in on loan for three seasons. We never actually owned him. And he banged in some goals for us before Bayer Leverkusen decided to stop letting him come to us. Bor Hassans, again, we bought him in and he's been here for five seasons. And he's basically for 2.6 million. It's been an incredible signing for us. And then the other guy, Fabrice Mambu. Here he is. French international, signed for 32 million. He's been banging the goals in. Less of so of late, just because we've got Big Papa in there. And here we go. Let's get stuck into the very last game in the Buck CC save. Carried on from FM21 all the way to now. Tactical meeting. We're making no changes to this team. We are going ahead with Fabrice Mambu because Big Papa is not fit enough to start. He actually will return to training in three days. So we might throw him on. Borja Sands on the left. Ordonez as the secondary striker, the shadow striker. And Cavastaini, the left-footed player that likes to cut in on the, on the wing. There he is. He's played 97 games for the club. In the middle, we have a youth academy kid. 
Steve Fontaine gets to play in a Champions League final. This is pretty much like a Jay Spearing playing in the in the in the final of the Champions League. He's nowhere near good enough. But that's what we've got to play with today. Zaragoza plays as the DLP. Here he is. Beautiful player for us. Across the back, we've got Da Silva, wonder kid. Surely he is come, coming all the way through. I mean, look at his stats. He's getting his physical stats are off the chart there. Over on the side, Longello, who is on loan from Borussia Dortmund. Lovely, lovely player. Again, physicals off the stat off the charts. And then at the back, Dominici, a man mountain of a player, 6-1. But this, look at these things, these stats here. I mean, what a player for us. Loved him in our career. And then Sarabia, his stats are great. But again, 6.78 in the Champions League, 6.77. Hasn't really done it for us. And then in goal, Abel Gonzalez. Look at those goalkeeping stats. So much green, so much to love. Uh, what a great goalkeeper. He's only allowed in 33 goals in 34 games. And that's the team. Here we go. Submit it, give some squad numbers to some young kids to fill the bench, 44 and 45. And it, this is it. Can't quite believe it. Taking a team from level 10 all the way to the Prem, the types of players we have had in those lower leagues. And now just to get all the way to the final, look at this at the London Stadium. We have kicked out West Ham for one game against Barcelona. Buck CC, Barcelona, and here they come, the boys walking onto the field. What a poignant moment this is, especially for those of you that have followed this, this career. It is time to move on to, or get ready for FM23. Throw in down in the bottom corner, Da Silva. What is he doing there? I thought that was an attacking throw, defensive throw, and he's thrown it to the centre back, and that is a I mean, I thought that was in. Goal kick. Gonzalez pops it out to the fullback. Down the flank into Cabastain. He's cutting in on that left side. Zaragoza, DLP, drops it back. Playing about it at the back. Look at this play. We are playing like Barcelona. Fab, Brees, Mam, Boo gets the goal in the 13th minute. Oh, yes. That is brilliant by Mam, Boo. What a goal. 1-0 up. Buck CC, Champions League final. Good save, Gonzalez. I was thinking it was going to be an instant response by Barca, but we've punted it down long and Fabrice Mambu knocks it on and chases after his own flick on. Zaragoza into Fontaine, into Sands, into Zaragoza, into Fontaine. Clips it over the top. Cabastain, he's been taken over. That's got to be a penal. Come on. It's got to be a peno. What a ball by Fontaine, by the way. Penalty awarded. Who takes it? Who takes it? It's Zaragoza. Oh. <laughs> He's drilled it down the middle. He's done a Troy Deeney, but the keeper is, uh, has caught him out. Could have been 2-0 up in the final. What a chance. Come on, Bucks. Throw in, De Silva, long throw in, headed clear by Barca, it's out to Zaragoza, plays it back out to the fullback. De Silva crosses, blocked, and now Barca are on the counter. Oh no, we want it back. Ordonez. Come on, son, you've got to do better than that. It's a pretty tight game, although Barca haven't really challenged a goal. Their XG is much lower than ours. You know, it's Barcelona, right? Half time, half time. Happy with the performance and the boys are inspired. Everyone's doing okay. Ordonez has got a 6.6, .6, not great. Zaragoza's already got the, uh, he's got the yellow card. So let's tell him not to uh, basically play it calm. We don't want another yellow card. And you know what? I, I think I want a little bit more, a little bit more from Ordonez in there. And... I think let's just go with that. Starting the second half, the final half of the Buck CC career. Can we complete it with winning the Champions League? And, uh-oh. 
Fabrice, what is going on? He's got a bruised ankle, but it's the sort of thing he can play through. Do we bring on the already injured Big Papa? I think, I think we ignore. I think we keep on Fabrice for a little bit more. Let's see if we can squeeze out another 10 minutes and maybe give Big Papa the last 15. Barcelona. Oh, good save, Gonzalez. Big punt by Abel Gonzalez, and it's gone straight to Barca. Borja Sands into Longello. Longello marauding up the left. Now it's Borja Sands. What's he got? His right foot is not that strong. Corner ball. Borja Sands. Headed clear by Barca. And I think we're coming up to around about... Let's give it a few more minutes. Cavastaini ball. Wasteful ball into the hands of the Barca goalkeeper. Gasparini punts it clear and Barca are now on the attack. Get out to him, Longello. Good save, Gonzalez. We're under a little bit of pressure. It's probably Barca really pushing for this winner now in the last 15 minutes. Headed clear by Sarabia. Can we clear our lines? Don't dive in, Pedro. No penalty. Yes. Clear the balls. All right. Time to bring on Big Papa. And who else? Cabastani's got a 6.2. I think time for Cabastani to come off. And let's bring on Arbeloda. Let's go, boys. I think what we're going to do is just go a bit more cautious with 10 minutes to go. Headed clear. Big Papa gets the ball. And now he's driving forward. Go on, Big Papa. Played it into Ordonez. Can he find it? And it's a goal. It is 2-0 Barca. The, the ball was saved. It's fallen so nicely for Borja Sanz. And he has put it in. And we're 2-0 up with 10 minutes to go. Big Papa holds it up, drops it back into, and now it's Arboleda. Arboleda driving forward into Big Papa. Oh, it's a great save. It's a great save. Could have been 3-0 and all over. Borja Sanz whips it in, headed clear by Barcelona. Zaragoza looks like he is run out of legs here. And looking at his heart, he is a... <sighs> what a challenge that is. Okay, time for us to make a change. Zaragoza is done and we need to bring on a centre midfielder that has maybe got some legs here. Well, we don't have much, do we? Let's have a look. I would say let's bring on John Legg. John Legg comes on. He's already decided to leave the club at the end of the season. Can he finish us off and help us win our Champions League trophy? Into extra time. And it's a highlight. Okay. There clearly can't be enough time for Barca to score two goals. Pedro Silva. Up the flank. Arbeloda. Boom. 3-0. Ordonez with the winner. And that is game, set and match. What a way to end this career. From level 10... To the Prem. And we finish it off in the last episode by winning the Champions League. What a career this has been. I never really got into FM22 because I just loved this career from FM21 so much. And now, what a way to finish it off. Boys, this has been an amazing career. I've loved this creator club. My youth team from the early 90s has just won the Champions League final, beating Barcelona 3-0. Okay. Good night, Buck CC. Let's bring on FM23. Thank you for watching, everybody.